which is it? How we, which is it for you, Dr. Abadaya? Do you think the government is unwilling or unable to protect the people of Southern Kaduna? In fact, it is not only an evil, it is unwilling, and we have good reason to feel that they are part and parcel of the killers. Let me make some revelations to you. That's a very More big music answer. on trendybeats.com. The government is part and parcel of, of the killers. Yes. That, that's big. Yes. Yeah. Okay. How will the government just say, oh, it is a revenge killing and so on? Then you leave it there. Oh, because it is a revenge killing and so on and so forth. The body language of this administration, the body language of the state government shows clearly that they have a hand in the killings. No doubt about it. Because, you see, General Abacha, hmm. and people don't give him his due. Do you think you would have tolerated such nonsense? But let me make some revelations because some of us also have our own intelligence networks. Okay. Okay. We have met with some of the bandits. We have met with some of their high commanders. One or two who have repented. They have sat down with us, not once, not twice. They told us that one of the northern governors is the commander of Boko Haram in Nigeria. Boko Haram and the bandits are one and the same thing. They have a sophisticated network. During this lockdown, their planes were moving up and down as though there was no lockdown. Moving ammunition, moving logistics, moving money, and distributing them in different parts of the country. They are already in the south, in the rainforest of the south. They are everywhere. They told us that when they finish these rural killings, they will move to phase two. The phase two is they will go into the urban cities, going from house to house, killing prominent people. I can tell you, this is the game plan. Mm -hmm. By 2022, they want to start a civil war in Nigeria. Nigerians, this is a, a clarion call from me to my fellow countrymen. I'm sure everybody is aware of what is going on in our country, the blood, and how those people who are sworn in to protect life and property, they are now watching people kill daily. So this is a clarion call to all of us, the youth, the young, the old, this is 2023 coming, and these people, they are clamoring to go again. They are clamoring for power. You might not be a soldier. You might not be able to carry a weapon and defend the country, but you have the opportunity now to defend this country with your vote. The blood in the north, in the south, in the east, west, People are dying daily. I'm not talking about hunger or the, the poverty or the suffering. That sunset of people will be back by government and they will keep on doing what they are doing on challenge. And we are all watching it. So 2023 election, let us try and be wise. Let us reject any candidates from PDP or APC. For as far as presidency is concerned, these uh, people should not be given chance. Aspirant from PDP and APC, because there is no much difference uh, philosophically, ideologically, and you don't see difference. They are alike in many respects you see that there are many pro-terrorists in the ranks of APC, PDP. These people, they have been supporting killing and terrorism secretly. You have seen governments where a confirmed terrorist is being given amnesty. You have seen where army generals are not performing and they are retained and people are dying. 
you have seen how government intelligence is being sabotaged and our young soldiers are being massacred do not vote for apc or pdp in presidency because these people are not innocent they are not innocent you vote for them you are going to sustain the terrorism we have seen you you see the body language of the ruling party you see the way they are handling the whole thing you know that there is no commitment after all their people are not being killed they don't kill the elite class they don't kill the have they killed any governor or their children or have they touched anybody from president's family so and you know that most of the members of pdp they are in apc the people that are in apc today tomorrow they are going to be in pdp the people in pdp today before evening they are in apc so there is no difference between these two people and trust me they are not innocent general bacha says something that if lawlessness persists if lawlessness persists more than 24 hours in a nation then government is guilty government is not innocent government is aware so i'm calling you to defend this country with your vote come 2023 today farmers are being killed all over nigeria we are threatened by food scarcity people are being displaced people are being kidnapped for heavy ransoms people are being massacred and government is not doing anything so you must not support them you must not vote for them because if you do god in heaven will judge you the blood of the killed the blood of those victims will be upon your head you cannot vote apc or pdp for presidency because because of the terror war going on in nigeria in fact is a merchandise for them they are making billions of naira you must not vote for them Nigeria needs you and what you can do now is to defend this country with your vote. Remember, remember you don't have another country. US, Europe, they were built by men. So these few gangs, these few elites that have chosen the part of the structure for our country, I want to appeal to your conscience to stand in the path of righteousness. Let's vote them out come 2023. God bless you and God bless Nigeria.